Hi, my name is Shane Jonas from the Lowdown Brass Band. I play trumpet. Um, today I'm showing you an AR Resonance trumpet. Uh, beautiful custom made horn from Italy, uh, made by Antonio uh, Rapicciolo. Um, he's been kind enough to endorse the band and sponsor the band with custom made mouthpieces. Um, that um, have our uh, little logo on them, LDB for Low Down Brass Band. And you can see there um, his logo. Um, one thing that's interesting and different about AR Resonance um, trumpets as opposed to a trumpet that I used to use, like a Bach, which is like a lot of trumpet players play, Bach Stradivarius, um, is that the mouthpiece is a screw in sort of. Um, built-in type thing once you screw it in. Um, most trumpet mouthpieces are just, you just stick it into the lead pipe and you kind of give it a half turn and that's how that works. Um, but for AR Resonance he has a, a threaded kind of modular piece that connects and makes the horn more of like one piece. Some of the benefits of having um, a mouthpiece like this that screws in is literally the resonance you know not to be cheesy the name of the company is AR resonance but it just allows for more consistent sound from the buzz <laughs> into the mouthpiece and gets keeps it consistent throughout the horn more so as with the Bach uh, trumpet or any other kind of trumpet that doesn't have this kind of setup there's always just a little bit of space to give uh, where the mouthpiece kind of goes in so just a little less resonant vibration throughout the horn constantly um, yeah it's a uh, feroce that's the model name I don't know if I know enough to really talk about the difference in the models that he has several different models about four or five different models some of the uh, bells are larger um, some of the difference would also be the type of uh, metal on the horn um, here and in the lead pipe and also on some of the general shape of how the lead pipe is rounded just a little bit differently here and here on the crook of the uh, bell. So that's the AR, AR Resonance horns. This is actually a pretty new horn. I've had it for about three months now. Um, whenever the band got the endorsement from AR Resonance and from Antonio, um, I kind of had developed a relationship with him and we started, uh, my horn actually got stolen, my last horn. Um, out of my car, so I was in the market for a new horn. Um, once we got the endorsement and I started playing the mouthpieces, I uh, sort of started just falling in love with some of his products and the way the horn sounds. Some other guys in here uh, in Chicago play the trumpet, uh, this horn as well, um, including Marquise Hill, who's a great trumpet player. Um, and I just always liked the sound that they got. And um, he, um, we, uh, he has a couple retailers here in Chicago. I uh, want to mention them to uh, one of them's name's Chad McCullough. He does like the high brass stuff. And another friend of ours, Luke Malevich, handles like the low, low brass, the trombone, the, tu the sousaphone um, stuff. So uh, Chad McCullough had recently been to Italy and uh, Antonio gave him this horn for me to try. And once I tried it, I immediately fell in love with it and had to make it mine, so. Nearly all the time when we're playing live, we're playing through microphones as well. We There's 10 guys in the band. So basically in order to hear ourselves better, we have microphones so we can hear through the monitors back to us. And you know, it makes for a nice more evened out sound when everybody has a microphone and it can be controlled from the back of the room. Right now we use mostly house mics when we're, we're actually seeking out a microphone endorsement right now. Um, but we usually use house mics. The kind of the go-to mic for trumpet is a 57. Um, and that's kind of the one I, I use the most. I've also used a clip-on Sure Beta um, before that clips onto the side of the bell that I used for years. Unfortunately, it also got stolen with my last trumpet. So still kind of trying to replace those things, but yep, that's it. Um, I've been playing the trumpet since I was about 10 years old. Um, love it, you know, it's kind of one of those love-hate relationships forever. 
But uh, yeah, that's the AR resonance. So this is called a cajita, which literally in Spanish means little box. It's um, from the Andes Mountains, specifically from the Peru area. Um, so you take um, the little handle here, screws into the top. Get it all solid there. And kind of the way it works is <clears throat> you have a lid that's hinged on in the back. It opens and closes. Uh, it's hollow inside so that when you hit it and you open and close the box, it changes the tone of the box. So I'll demonstrate that. And you can hit it in a lot of different ways. So like something I might play on stage would be like... You can also use it for sound effecty things. Uh, sometimes I might just play the top. It comes out like a few times, two, you know, three or four times of the show. It's kind of just a, another auxiliary percussion instrument. Um, I also play it with another group in town, a Latin group. Uh, and it takes a little bit more of a, a role, but in this band is just kind of like auxiliary percussion. We have lots of breakdowns for solos and things like that where everybody in the band will kind of grab different percussion instruments. We actually have some pretty good percussionists in the band that are also horn players as well. So, um, there it is, the Cajita. Once again, my name is Shane Jonas from the Lowdown Brass Band. I play trumpet and I sing. Um, you can check us out uh, here in Chicago and all over the U.S. Go to lowdownbrassband.com. We have a new single coming out uh, May 3rd called We Them Boys. Be on the lookout for that. A new video as well. Um, we'll be at the Montreal Jazz Festival this summer. We'll be in Victoria for the Victoria Scott and Reggae Festival. We're going to be all over the U.S. and Canada in the next few months. So check us out.